welcome back, or if you are new here, hello and welcome. My name is Leia. Thank you so much for joining me here today. A little bit swirly, swivelly. I hope this doesn't bother everyone. I feel like this might be an issue with me on my chair today. I'm not sure why. It just is. <laughs> so for today's video, just figured I'd do a casual get ready with me. I'm trying to do these more often. Um, yeah, and as I mentioned in my last one, very few of these actually get uploaded just because I never like how they turn out. I just find they're very slow moving and you know, I'm already starting to ramble instead of doing my makeup, which is one of the reasons why they don't get uploaded. So I'm just going to get going. Um, for the most part, I'm not going to mention really what I'm using. I'll list everything in the description box below so that if you're curious, you can go and check it out. Um, but other than that, yeah, let's just do my makeup. Okay, so one thing that irritated me last time was the fact that I kept, my hair kept getting in my face when I was doing my makeup. But I had forgotten to bring a clip down to pull it back, so. Did not forget today, yay. So how's everyone doing, hmm? Already, I actually wrote notes down of what to talk about because I always forget. <laughs> ah. So, I have been buying not tons, usually drugstore stuff, but I did get some new goodies in, so I'm going to show them to you what I got. Just, wow, apparently I have it in my brain. Still sleeping. Okay, so I'm going to start things off. I got a couple of new items from Flower Beauty. If you are in Canada, well.ca sells um, Flower Beauty. It is an online store. They carry a lot of natural and holistic products, but they also carry some beauty products and they happen to carry Flower Beauty. So I purchased the Light Illusion Luminous All Day Wear Makeup and it has sunscreen in it. Sunscreen in it. So hopefully it does not give me a reaction. Um, but yeah, what shade is this? I got this shade, which I already say, I don't know, natural beige. And I also got Bubble tea. Not tea. Bubble wrap. I also got the Flower Beauty Light Illusion. Whoa, so I almost dropped it. Perfecting powder, and this is in the shade Beige L4 M1. I don't know. Anyway, that's what I got. So I'm going to try these out today. I think this should match me pretty good. Lots of people talk about it, especially the powder. They compare it to a Charlotte Tilbury powder. I figured, hey, for 20 bucks, because that's how much this costs here in Canada, it's a lot cheaper than the Charlotte Tilbury one, so we shall see. Do makeup and talk at the same time. I am challenged. <laughs> so my husband and I were watching TV the other day, and we were watching the Great Canadian Baking Show. I don't know. It's something we've been watching. We really like it. Um, anyway, we were watching the show, and this one lady was doing some vegetarian kind of meal, like baking. Like it's all baking, it's not meals. And my husband made a comment, he's like, oh, I wonder if she's vegan. And I'm like, oh, well, she's probably, I said, I don't know if she is like at home, but I said, for this competition, I said, if anything, she's vegetarian because she's using like the milk and the butter and the eggs and all that kind of stuff. And he's like, oh, and to which he started asking, he's like, well, if she's vegetarian, why is she eating eggs? And I was like, oh, well, some vegetarians, they still eat that stuff because it's just a byproduct kind of of the animal. It's not actually hurting the animal. They're laying the eggs anyway. He's like, well, what about the baby chickens? And I'm just like, well, if the egg's not fertilized, then there's no baby chicken. And he kind of looked at me funny and I'm like, okay, biology lesson here. He's a very smart man, but I don't know if it just, he wasn't um, understanding, like it wasn't clicking. So I was just, so my husband was like, what do you mean? And I was like, well, it's just like a woman. And you know, when she, every month she has her period and she releases an egg and it's not fertilized. And he's like, oh, and then he looks at me, he's like, don't, don't say it. He knows me so well. I'm like, so, you know, when you eat eggs, you're technically eating chicken periods. <laughs> He's like, you went there. You said it. I'm like, I did. I'm sorry if I just ruined eggs for a bunch of people out there. So yeah, 
Now, all for the rest of the week, I've, <laughs> whenever he has eggs or we're talking about eggs, I'm like, oh, chicken periods? Uh, oh, you might hear some noise. My boys are watching TV and playing out in the other room. Um, but yeah, so chicken periods. Sorry. But yeah, I thought it was funny. I laughed a lot. He was rather disgusted. Okay, so I bought these items as well. These were from the other day. And this is a direct result of Julia's Bee Beauty because she was raving about this stuff. So I have the Catrice Slimmatic Camouflage Stick. It's a concealer. And then I have the Catrice, this one is the Light Illusion Loose Powder. She has the Nude Illusion one. I think the only difference between the two is the Nude Illusion is transparent or is like a beige color, whereas this is a yellow one. I couldn't find the Nude Illusion here, so this is what I got. And this one I'm gonna use on my eyes. Um, I did use this once already, and she was raving about it because it didn't crease on her, it held up, it looked amazing on her. So I really wanted to try it out, and I have to say, I used it once, and I like it. I just find, and I didn't get creasing, it wore well, it looked great. I think I just, my problem was I didn't put much on. I went maybe too light-handed with it, just because um, I was worried how it will work because it's just a stick. It's like a little, you know, a stick <laughs> and it's very tiny. I mean, this is my hand. Um, but yeah, it looked amazing on her and I have to say this dried down nice. It felt like there was nothing on between this and the powder. I was very impressed. So, but yeah, okay. so I really like how this wears and how it looks. I just feel like I don't get a ton of coverage, but that's okay. I'm going to put a little bit more in just like where it's darkest. Mother's Day is coming up and I know not everyone celebrates and I know it can be hard for everyone and I know this year it'll be very different for most people. Um, but yeah, I already got my Mother's Day present the a couple weeks ago. My husband and I, we were just kind of talking. We were looking, um, we were in our kitchen and... <laughs> We don't have a dishwasher and we both hate doing dishes and there's six of us in our family and it's just, it's always a problem. It's a fight. Who's going to do them? Who's going to put them away? We try and get our two girls, the older ones to, um, help out. But even that is an issue sometimes because kids sometimes, sometimes they suck. <laughs> but anyway, um, I love my kids. I'm just joking. Um, but anyway, so we were talking and then he's like, so if we got a dishwasher, where would we put it? And I'm like, well, we can remove these drawers. And he's like, well, where are you going to put your stuff? I'm like, oh, for a dishwasher, I will make room. I will find, I will declutter. I will find room for his stuff. And he's like, okay. So it was just kind of like a conversation. It wasn't anything we we're going to do because we want to redo part of our kitchen again soon. We just, we just did our kitchen three years ago, got a whole new kitchen and stuff. But now we're realizing that we want to take out one of the walls <laughs> in between our kitchen and living room. So we're like, well, if we do that, we'll put an island in. And then we were talking about putting a dishwasher in. But then I'm like, well, it would be easier with the plumbing and everything. Just, just leave it with the counter instead of in the island. Anyway, long story short, that's how the conversation got started. So <laughs> then I was just like, all of a sudden I had it in my head. I'm getting a new dishwasher right away. So I'm like, we're looking it up and everything. And I'm like, oh, we can do this and that. So yeah, three days later, I had a dishwasher. So it's been like a week and a bit now that we've had it. And I love it. We it's used like to the have best thing. Like every day I'm like, I walk into my kitchen and the counters are clear. Like even if there was, even if the dishes were washed before, they were still piled up in the drain board drying because you didn't dry them, you let them drip dry. <laughs> what we do so yeah there was always dishes piled up on the counter and stuff like that and now that's not the case so me in my head I'm like this is great you know I'm gonna get so much more things done and I mean I kind of have because you know after supper now I don't mind baking a batch of cookies or whatever because I have room on my counter to do it it's it's so nice to walk into the kitchen in the morning and it's not like, a mess I love it <laughs> it's Oh, it's just so nice. But I was just like, oh, this is great. I can be on top of washing my makeup brushes now because I like to do it at the kitchen sink because I usually have more room, but there's always either a pile of dirty dishes there or there's a pile of clean dishes there and there's not enough room to actually wash my dishes. So 
I was like, this is great. I can start washing my brushes more and being more on top of it. And yeah, it still hasn't happened. I think it's more of the fact that they've been piling up because I change my brushes out every week, but I don't necessarily wash them every week. Like I have, I have many, many brushes. So every week I switch out all the brushes I have and I put in clean brushes and then I just put the dirty ones aside to wash in another time. And now I am like three weeks in with dirty brushes. <laughs> And I'm just looking like that's a lot of work whereas if I would just do it every week it wouldn't be so bad so yeah that kind of backfired a little bit as far as the I forgot it again oh my goodness okay so backtracking here is this it no where is it okay so I have this um this if you watched any of my videos recently, this has come up in every video. I have this Rimmel Brow Pen Micro, um, and it's one of these, what's it called? Brow pens. It's a single tip one. It's not one of the tri-tip ones. And I have it in my jar brushes like this so that, you know, it stays face down. Um, <laughs> and I keep forgetting to use it because you need to use it on clean skin. You can't have foundation or anything on. Um, if you do, it just doesn't work properly. So today I have my notes and I don't know if you can tell. And in like caps, the first thing it says, use brow pen first in my notes. I forgot again. I've used this thing like maybe twice. Cause I keep forgetting and I can't, I'm trying to form an opinion on it and I can't because I keep forgetting to use it. And even when I tell myself in my notes to use it first, I forget. Oh wow. Okay. Oh, yeah. I'm happy with my dishwasher. I'm just like, I don't know how we went so long without it. This is amazing. Every time I, again, walk in my kitchen, I'm just like, it's one of my happy places again, instead of one that I'm like, can I get out of here? Moving along from dishes, because I'm sure most of you don't care. It's exciting for me, but let's be real. It's probably not exciting for you. Um, but anyway, let's the see. What other I... day, maybe it was yesterday. Is it yesterday? What's today? Wednesday? Maybe it was Monday. Within the last couple of days, I was watching a video, and it was Mander's Beauty, and she was making um, this dill pickle or pickle dip thingy um and that looks really good <laughs> um I will leave it linked in the description box below in case you're curious to go check it out um but she was using um a spice blend from a company called Epicure called Lemon Dilly and I'm like oh yeah I mean I have it I have almost a full cupboard of Epicure products I really like them um they are a company that does um spice blends and spices and stuff like that uh they are Canadian I believe they're a Canadian company. Um, they just branched out within the last year or so to the U.S. as well. Um, but, uh, yeah. So, they do different spice blends and stuff like that. They do a bunch of other stuff, too. Like, you can buy, like, packaged things for, um, what's it called? Like, if you're making pulled pork or if you want a certain kind of pasta sauce and that kind of stuff, um, it'll come, like, in a packet. And they're supposed to be like low sodium and healthier and they have like nutritional yeasts and they have all kinds of things right and they switch. so one of the reasons why I really like the Epicure stuff is like you could just go out and buy spices and that's what I sometimes do but um it's nice because like they have certain flavors put together like if you want more of like a Greek flavor or whatever oh and they do salad dressing like the mixes for salad dressing so you can make your own anyway they have all kinds of stuff um like that like spices and flavor stuff tons of stuff. Anyway, what I'm getting at is, yes, you could go out and buy all that stuff separately, but it's kind of nice to have it all together. And what I like about it, especially, is my kids, they're not a fan of actual, like, onions and, what's it called, garlic and stuff. Like, they like the flavors, but um, if they find onions in their food, especially, they're like, I'm not eating that. But they like the flavor of it, and so do I. So I found it's kind of helpful that way because they have different flavors like with the onion in it and the garlic and um so I can put that in and get the flavor and again they are more of a healthy alternative to a lot of spices 
So, yeah. So, I like it. Long story short. I went through, after Manders' video, I'm like, I knew I had to, there was a bunch of stuff that I was out of because the person that I used to purchase from, she no longer sells it. So I was just like, okay, well, one of my other friends is selling it now. So I'm like, oh, I'll go put an order in. So I look up the catalog and I write down everything I want to get. And I'm like, okay. And I'm like, maybe I should have a party, like an online party because they do them on Facebook now, right? So I'm like, okay, so I'm like, why not? I mean, maybe I'll get a benefit out of it. I'm going to buy this stuff regardless. So that's what I did. So I contacted my friend. I'm like, hey, do you think it'd be worth it to do uh, like host an online party on Facebook and everything for these products? And she's like, I'm like, I have no idea if anyone's going to buy anything, if anyone be interested right now. She's like, well, it wouldn't hurt. She's like, I'll put it together for you and we'll set it up. So she set it up for me last night. My party is now live. It goes until the 9th. I think whatever the ninth is that's the day ninth at 9 p.m. so long story short I think I say that a lot anyway I'll link it in the description box below if you're interested in checking out Epicure at all or um, if you know Epicure and you want to order some stuff it ships directly to your home um, it's a Facebook party so it'll be I'll leave the link to the Facebook party in the description box so you can check it out just thought I'd throw it out there I'm not looking for sales from anyone but if anyone is interested Hey, there's that option. Okay, now, every time I spray my face, this eye starts twitching. I don't know why. It's been like that for like the last year. So. Oh, there it goes. Can you see it? It's still twitching. Okay, now it's stopping. That's weird. Does that happen to anyone else? Does anyone else's eyes twitch when you put setting spray on? That is so weird. Like sometimes my eyes twitch and you know, they say it's because of lack of sleep or too much coffee and I get that, but, and then it'll happen like throughout the day over multiple days until it kind of corrects itself in my system. I get that with like the coffee and stuff, but my eyes generally don't do that. Like once in a while it'll happen, but every day when I put my setting spray on, this eye twitches. I don't know. I don't know if it's enjoying the spray and like, like really getting in there and like, Ooh, it's spray and have fun. Or if it's like, get away from me. I don't like it. I don't know. I, I just think it's weird that, that, that eye always twitches. Anyone else have anything weird like that, that happens to them? No, just me. Great. I'm gonna have new I like this foundation. Um, the powder is nice too. It's got a nice blurring effect. I didn't put any, um, what's it called? Finishing powder on. I just used the light illusion one and so far I like it. We'll see how it wears. Um, yeah, the concealer is the only thing I wish was more full coverage because I can really see my dark circles poking through, but the powder I used is, I mean, I got, um, eyeshadow under there right now, but the powder I used, I really, really like. Hmm. So, so far, so good. Happy with my purchases that I have. Maybe someday I will remember to use this brow pen. Today was not that day. I was so prepared, Christine, if you were watching this, to be like, see, I used it first. I, I did it. And, and now I didn't. So, oh well. Anyway, my boys are upstairs now. They are crying. They're probably trying to get into the kitchen to get something. I need to wake my daughters up because it is now 9.30 in the morning and we need to start school soon. So, Mommy, why? So you just got me one at the head. Okay, I'll be done in a minute and then I'll be upstairs. So, apparently, my younger one is biting the older one. So... Mama must get back to being a mama and not just staying in her room and doing her makeup. So, duty calls. <laughs> in the comments below, how you're doing, what's your week been like, what are you up to, anything new, anything exciting, or, you know, what's the same old, same old, what's going on? Want to know. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.